G'day folks, today I'm going trout fishing with the smallest minnows that I've ever used. For goodness sake Robbie, will you hurry up and use those lures people sent you? These are a tiny little crankbait or hard body diving minnow. I don't know if they've got a brand name or not, they were sent to me by Bang On Fishing Adventures. They were sent to my mail time and today I'm giving them a swim to see if I can catch a trout on them. Oh, fish just swirled there. Got me lure! <laughs> Look at that! From right up here on the high bank. He's wrapped through here. I'm not going to land this fish. It's a decent fish. Oh, look at that. He took the little minnow. Look at how fat it is. He took that little hard body. Sorry, I can't get down a bit lower to release it, but you'll be right. You will be fine. Some people will have you believe that that fish is going to die now because of how I dropped it, but... In reality, they swim over waterfalls. They literally swim over waterfalls and survive. In some states of America, they actually airdrop them. They stock them out of airplanes. They stock them off bridges and let them free fall down to the water. The old trout are no stranger to falling from heights. I would, however, have liked to have been able to wet my hand, but I just couldn't right up here. All right, Let's see if I can find my way through there somehow. Not much of a jungle here. I'm puffed. I've just come around all of that crap. Just finished bashing my way through. Oh, fish some under it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. He's gonna come back. No. Oh, he can twitch it. Oh, he hit it. The fish came out and hit it while I was twitching it. Look at the way, oh, I fish hit it again. While I'm twitching it, it's got the really erratic action. That's cool. Oh, there's a rise in that next pool up there, look. I wonder if I can cast to it from back here. Don't stuff the cast up, which I kind of have. Oh, God, he hit it. He hit it. I don't know whether he came down into this pool or whether he's still up there, but there's a hungry fish somewhere up there. Might have spooked him, I think. Might have felt the, uh, might have felt the hooks, I reckon. Oh, he's still, he's still there. He's coming down after it, look. I'm going to twitch it a bit. Oh, the wave's coming down after it. Hit it, got him. Ha oh, ha, he came down after it and then went bang. Another lovely rainbow. I just missed one on the bottom end of this pool, just here, right where I'm standing. And then this one came out. That's quality fish from this small water. Come on, mate, you are beautiful. That is a quality rainbow trout. Hello, trout. Say hello, mate. Off you go. Awesome. Now, I don't know whether that photo will work very well or not because it, uh, the fish wouldn't sit still. But anyway, there's the lure. I don't know whether it's got a name or a brand or, or what. They were sent to me by another YouTube channel. They were sent to my mail time from Bang On Fishing Adventures. If I, uh, if I remember, I'll put a link to their channel at the end of the video. If you've watched this video and you get to the end and there's no link, let me know, because I've got a terrible memory. Thank you, Bang On Fishing Adventures, for these little minnows. They're fun. They're, I'll put my camera back on my head. They're good to cast. They cast quite well, actually. For such a small lure, they cast really well. I'm using a loop knot like I do for all small minnows and I'm finding I've got to retrieve this really slowly. The moment I start going too fast the lure starts going up to the sides. It just Because it's so small it can't handle a high speed so it's a very slow retrieve and if I want to bring it in faster I can just sort of twitch it a bit like a soft plastic and that'll get it kicking around and that'll allow it to track straight with an erratic action if that makes sense. Bang on fishing. Thanks for these cool little minnows, they certainly work. Follow. Look at the waves. Oh, 
Ooh, the follow, he's a swirl. Take it, take it, got him. Oh, he hit it, he hit it. But he didn't hook up. Oh, a little one hit it. A real little one hit it then. Well, folks, that's all for today. I only had about an hour or so to fish, and I've made the most of it. I've had a wonderful time fishing with this tiny little diving minnow that was sent to me by Bang On Fishing Adventures. It's a little bit trickier to use than a lot of minnows because it's so small, but it casts well, and once you work out how to use it properly, you'll catch fish, as I've proven today. Thank you all very much for watching.